Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, we're going to go over using NOAA's Opus Static Beta. With this beta, we can now process Opus solutions with GPS, Galileo, and GLONASS constellations. Before we start our static collection, let's configure logging to be optimized for the upgraded Opus. Within my receiver's logging tab, selecting the settings icon in the raw data section will allow us to configure what we are logging. With the Opus preset selected, we are most of the way configured. We can then select Show Configuration. We can see our logging interval is set to 30 seconds, which is exactly what we want, but the only satellite constellation selected is GPS. Now we can enable GLONASS, Galileo, and Baidu. QZSS can also be enabled, but will likely not be used based on our location. We are good to go for Opus. It is also recommended to back up the source data for Rhinex. This will create a separate UBX file with all constellations at a full rate that we can use elsewhere. We'll apply that and go set up our base over our point for collection. We'll set up over this stake tag for our collection. The Opus S beta requires a file under 60 megabytes with an observation that is at least two hours, but not more than 48 hours long, recorded in Rhinex version two or three or in another raw data format. Now on the Opus Beta website, we'll upload our data log that we downloaded from our receiver. See our video on downloading logs linked in the description if you need help there. We'll then navigate to our observation file found in the Rhinex folder with the file extension 240 and select that. Then search for and select our receiver in the antenna selection box. Input the pole height of our base underneath the antenna selection and input our email where we want our solution sent. Then we can select which constellations we want to use and what format we'd like our results sent in. We can also choose specific base stations we want to use or exclude from the calculations, as well as selecting state plane coordinates we want to see the solution in. We can also let Opus automatically select all of those parameters. And when we're ready to submit, click on Upload to Static. We should then see a successful upload screen that looks like this. When we receive our Opus solution in our email, Opus will give us our basis point in NAT83 and ITRF2014 coordinates, as well as our selected state plane and corresponding UTM zone coordinates. Along with our point, we are given information on the base stations used and other information used in the processing of our solution. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.